Hello everybody, it's been a hot minute since I've released any type of content. I've been, uh, I've been busy with work, but I've managed to figure out a schedule to start making content again. So hopefully it sticks. So today we are making my quick and comprehensive guide for El Muzin Cobb. Like usual, I will leave a timestamp in the description of my video so you can skip to whatever information that you are here for. If you are looking for quick information to start playing this god immediately, I recommend watching the quick guide portion of my video. If you know how to play the god and you are looking for further tips to increase your skill level with Amuz and Cobb, I recommend checking out the comprehensive section of my video. And I just want to say this, just, you know, thanks for watching and if you like these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe so I know to go ahead and keep making them for you guys. Thanks for watching. guide for amusing Cobb. if you're looking to get some quick information to know the basics of this god this section of my video is totally for you we're going to start with his abilities and then i'm going to go over one quick combo to initiate and another combo to disengage your target and then we're just going to send you off uh to the battlegrounds this should be enough information to get you through your first couple of matches without getting stomped and if you want some more information uh, because you like the cut character uh, you can come back and watch the comprehensive guide if you want to know more or you can just simply take the basics and just kind of build a build on it on your own Musing Cobb's passive is called bees when you land an ability on an enemy god they are infected by bees and take dot damage for a couple of seconds Musing Cobb's first ability is high when you activate the ability, if you're on quick casting, you can select an area where the hive will go down. Once you release the button and the ability goes off, a hive will spawn. The hive will die in a single shot. While this hive is up, it provides additional bonuses to your stats. Amusin Cobb's second ability is Swarm. This is a area effect line attack in front of Amusin Cobb that shoots out a swarm of bees that do damage uh, with anything that they come into contact with. Amusing Cobb's third ability is Honey. This is a activated ability that shoots honey onto the ground that slows and damages enemies that walk across those area effects that you leave on the ground. Amusing Cobb's ultimate is called Stinger. This is a line attack in front of Amusing Cobb. When you use the ability, he shoots his stinger out, it slows and cripples the enemy target, then after a couple seconds, falls out. You can pick up that stinger that falls to reduce the cooldown of the ability significantly. Alright, we're gonna go over a quick combo that you can take into your matches when you're engaging enemies. You're going to start by using your ultimate stinger to slow and cripple your enemy. You're then going to place a hive like I already have there to make sure that your passive is going off and you're getting those increased stats from your abilities. You're then going to use Swarm, your second ability, to apply further damage to your enemy and then use Honey in the direction that they're fleeing or where they're standing to do dot damage per second. This is what that would look like. And then just finish off with some autos. Just keep autoing your opponent until they die and make sure to pick up your Stinger if you can. Now, let's go over a combo that you can use to get out of a sticky situation. So if someone is chasing you and you need to get away, obviously first start by putting your hive down. One of its added benefits is that it's giving you additional movement speed. Continue going, turn around. If you have your ultimate, use it and hit them with it. That will slow and cripple them. And then put your honey down in the line in front of you so people have to walk around that or you can turn around and shoot the honey at them to further slow them that is everything for my quick guide to Amusin Cobb. we went over his abilities and some quick combos to get in and out of fights now if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe anything helps me out if you are sticking around my comprehensive guide will start very shortly here 
and thank you for watching. Welcome to my comprehensive guide for Muzin Cobb. I'll be going over each of his abilities, including the various stats. Uh, I'll be going over various combos to start and flee from battles, the do's and don'ts with him, and leveling order. I will also explain various tricks with the god's abilities. Thank you for taking a look at my video, and let's start with his abilities. Muzin Cobb's passive is called Bees. Basically, your abilities, your second and third ability, will attach a swarm of bees to the affected god. They will be taking damage every 0.5 seconds for about 2 seconds. This will last longer if you are hitting the enemy with auto attacks, refreshing to 2 seconds of each auto that you land. So if you're con consecutively hitting somebody, I'll show you right here. The swarm of bees will persist as you're autoing them and will not go away. As you can see, it's there. The swarm in them, and after a couple seconds, vanishes. Amusing Cobb's first ability is Hive. This is a ground targeted ability around Amusing Cobb. When you activate this ability, a hive spawns. As you can see, I've got a couple of them over there. So, when I activate the ability, the hive goes off and comes out of the ground. Now, you're going to see this giant radius around you. That is the radius in which this hive is giving you the additional buffs that it is that it has. So it is giving you healing per second, movement speed and attack speed when you're in that radius. You can have seven of these hives out at a time. When you have put down your eighth hive, the oldest or the first hive that you put down will disappear. It will just die and disappear, as you can see there. I place another one down, that one will go. Additionally, enemy gods can take your hives out with a single auto attack. Abilities don't affect them, so usually when you're in your matches, try to place them behind walls or behind your tower to make it a lot harder for your enemy to be able to reach them. The stats for hive are 4 at level 1 and then 12 at max rank. The movement speed is 10 at rank 1 and then 30 at max rank. The attack speed is 10 at rank 1 and then 50 at max rank. Amuzin Cobb's second ability is Swarm. This is a line attack in front of Amuzin Cobb that sends out a swarm of angry bees to do damage to any enemies they come into contact with. Additionally, if they hit enemy gods or any enemy minion camps, they apply your passive bees, doing extra damage per second to them. And if you want to keep that up, you just keep auto attacking to keep swarms passive going. Just keep going and they'll be taking that extra dot damage on top of your auto attack damage. Let's take a look at the stats for swarm. You have 60 damage at rank 1 and then 260 damage at max rank with additional physical power scaling. Moose and Cobb's third ability is Honey. This is a ground targeted, uh, I guess you could say line drawing ability uh, if you're choosing when you activate the ability. So when you use Honey, you will instantly, you can just basically draw this little radius of honey on the ground. Uh, they slow any enemies that are in that radius. So if I use it here on this Odin, you can see that he is slowed down when he is standing in that radius. And then he persists for a couple seconds even after he exits the honey pools. Additionally, if you have a hive up and use honey within the radius of hive, it also applies angry bees to those area effects you're now going to be doing damage per second and then applying your passive bees to them so even when they exit the pools the passive is still persisting for the two seconds afterwards a nice little trick that you can do with these hives and honey say your enemy is running out of this radius that you can see on the ground and you want to be able to get you know even your damage off if you start your first pull within the radius the bees will actually connect all of the other honey pools that you put out outside of the radius here. Let's demonstrate that here. You can see that as long as the first one is touching, the rest of them will get the angry swarm of bees. 
the stats for hive are 13 damage at rank one and then 61 damage at max rank with 50 uh, 50 with additional physical power scaling the slow is a 20 percent movement speed reduction a Muzin Cobb's ultimate is Stinger. This is a line attack in front of a Muzin Cobb. When you activate the ability, a Muzin Cobb shoots out his Stinger, slowing, crippling, and damaging the enemy god. You also reduce their physical protections for, I believe it's two seconds. I could be wrong on that, but I'll go over that in stats. So, this is what that looks like. Boom. Additionally, when you use the ability, if the enemy god dies, the Stinger will drop. If not, after a couple of seconds, the stinger will drop on the ground for about four seconds, which then can be picked up to reduce the cooldown significantly of stinger. So if you can, try to pick that stinger up whenever it is safe to do so, or if you've got a clean kill. Well, I'll just show you. Never mind, I'm not going to show you. I just missed. <laughs> I just missed. The stats for Stinger are 275 at rank 1 and then 595 at max rank with additional physical power scaling. The slow movement reduction is 20%, the physical protection reduction is 20%, and the retrieval of the Stinger cooldown reduction is 80%. And if I just quickly look up above here, um it is three seconds it persists for three seconds here taking a look at some of the combos here musen cobs bread and butter like the main way most of musen cob players are going to initiate most of their fights you're going to start by using stinger your ultimate landing it and hitting your enemy opponent then quickly using swarm and then almost instantaneously you have to be really quick about this you want to put a hive down then you're going to put honey in the direction that they are fleeing or where they're staying to fight you and then continue with auto attacks this is what that looks like very very simple not too hard not even you know contemplate picking up your stinger if the person didn't die just because it might there after you kill him there might be another person that shows up to try to fight you and if your ultimate's off cooldown you can basically repeat that whole process another combo that you can do with the moose and cob if your aim isn't the best and you're just make, looking to make it a little bit easier on yourself start by placing a hive like i have already there uh, when you start the fight then you are going to use honey to slow them down then use swarm and then use your ultimate to do a good chunk of damage and continue with autos this is what that looks like. Very, very simple. I'm kind of leaving the hive there because I can't destroy it myself in these combos. I kind of apologize for that. It's just really annoying to have to go back and forth, back and forth to get and play seven hives to get rid of this one. So please bear with me. Alright, if you're trying to get away from somebody because they're chasing you down and you're low health or simply it's a fight that you do not want to uh, pick or have started on you, first things first is you're going to drop a hive down to get that movement speed boost and then you're going to turn around and cast honey on your pursuer to slow them down and then whip around again and continue running. So to give you a basic idea, you're just going to keep moving forward, put a hive down, turn around, do that. You can basically just do a full 360 and then continue running forward. They're going to either have to use an escape to, you know, not get slowed down or they're going to walk through it and you're just going to get away because you're going to be a lot faster than them. Keep in mind, whenever your hive cooldown comes off, keep placing additional hives so you can keep moving in the direction that you need to be going. Another combo that you can do to get away from somebody is same idea. Um, well, I wouldn't say kind of same idea. Basically, you're going to turn around and use your ultimate stinger. This is going to uh, cripple them, making it so they can't use their escape to chase you. You're then going to place a hive down and then use honey in the same sense earlier to slow them. This is what that would look like. So say I'm running, someone is coming. I'm going to whip around. I'm going to basically just whip around. Alt, put a hive down, spray the honey down, and then turn around and keep running, and then place hives when I can, and keep on moving forward. 
let's go over my personal start when it comes to conquest or any other game mode where you start at level three so for conquest players uh the i mean it's pretty straightforward the first ability that you're gonna put a point into is going to be swarm after swarm putting into a point into hive to get those additional stats then my third point into swarm third point into honey or fourth point i mean fourth point into honey and then my fifth point into my ultimate getting stinger now if i am playing and starting at level three it's basically two points into swarm and a point into hive it's in my personal opinion the best start for Ramuz and Cobb. do's and don'ts for Ramuz and Cobb. well things i would recommend that you do with Ramuz and Cobb, even though <laughs> It's probably happened to you. It's extremely dickish, but Crusher, I find, is an important item on a Muzin Cobb for one simple reason. Swarm and Hive. They benefit quite a bit from this. Swarm, because it's a, just a good chunk of extra damage on top of the damage Swarm does. And for Honey, because it gives you a, a decent amount of really safe, easy poke damage. So if you have a Hive down and use Honey, and you hit an enemy, enemy god right into one of the pools, your crusher will actually proc off its passive, doing additional damage to them. But they have to get hit by the pools that are going on the floor. If, if for some reason, I mean, I guess there really is no other way to apply your passive bees to them. Bees will not proc item effects. The damage from the honey uh, that's on the floor will, though, because it counts as an ability. Um... Another thing that you really should be getting into the habit with a Muzin Cobb is everywhere you're going, any fight that you are starting, please put a hive down. And like place yourself between it and the hive if someone's fighting like close to close combat and their range. Protect the hive. Those extra strats will help you win a lot of fights. It's just really, really, really needed. There's a lot of Muzin Cobb players that will just go into fights and like place maybe one hive and not do anything. Now, if you're in a fight and whenever hive comes off cooldown, just place another one just in case that your first one gets taken down so you have multiple so you are safe um another thing is the moose and cob you have to be landing your abilities if you are bad with your aim i do not recommend you play him i think that goes with most adcs if you cannot land abilities just go with a melee god you're gonna have a tough time with the moose and cob you're gonna get killed over and over and over again and you're going to feed and you know your teammates are going to be ripping their hair out and pretty much screaming at you don't with a moose and cob well a moose and cob doesn't have any escapes i mean yeah he gets his he has a slow and he has his movement speed boost but any god that has an escape that is smart and starts to fight with you without using their escape they're going to kill you so do not overextend and if you do make sure you have wards so you can see if anything is coming your way Overextending nine out of ten times is going to get you killed. Unless you know you land your full combo and you burst whoever it is that is engaging you. But if you're not paying attention and they ultimately get the first couple of hits on you, you are gonna be going down and you are definitely not getting away from them. Um, another thing is don't just place your hives anywhere. Don't don't place them like in front of you when you're in lane. Uh, anyone that has a brain is just going to take that hive out so they're not getting hit with your passive and so they're reducing the stats you have. So when placing your uh, hives, you can place them behind walls and still have the radius come through getting the benefits. Or another thing that I personally like to do, if I go over here, if you're at a tower, just place the hive right behind the tower. It will keep you safe. I forgot I'm on the enemy team, so that thing's gonna shoot me a couple times. But you can see it is giving me a stat boost that I need. Damn tower just taking me out. And I believe that's everything I have for do's and don'ts with the music cop. But just remember, poke with honey. Apply Crusher, it is just really good for Moose and Cob, especially for his early game for poke damage. And do not overextend unless it is. I mean, the only time you could really. I say, what I would say overextend is the late game when you have, you're fully kitted out because you hurt a lot. So even if someone does catch you out, if you can hit your full combo on them, you'll most likely take them out within a couple of seconds. Uh, but in the early game, if you get caught out, it is pretty much just a death sentence for you. 
and you're just going to die over and over and over again. So pretty much play safe until you get to the end game. That's all the information I have for Amazing Cup. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate any help that you guys would give me. And I look forward to seeing you in my next God Guide. Bye!